is the BMW 5 335D is all the car you'd ever need. Over 400 foot-pounds of torque in a large, spacious, some might say very attractive four-door sedan. I mean, what more could you possibly want? Rear-wheel drive. Being a BMW, of course, it's a bit more driver-centric than the equivalent Audi or Mercedes. It's a little bit sharper. It's quite a big, heavy car, but there's something about that BMW DNA that still shines through over and above the rival German brand. It's not cheap, granted, but the cabin is beautifully appointed. And now that that man, Chris Bangle, has gone, everything is quite sensibly and attractively designed. It doesn't jar. You get this lovely, big, simple console in front of you. I really like the instrument binnacle and the way that the the sort of lesser electronic stuff peers out from behind the instrument panel. It's just very attractive. The steering wheel is the most beautiful thing in the class. It's a lovely thing to hold. It's just a quality object, an absolute quality object. Performance, well, there are two reviews here, really. There's the European review and the American review. The Americans, you guys get 255 horsepower. In Europe, we get over 300 horsepower in the 535D. But the torque figure is massive, over 400 foot-pounds for both markets. I mean, that is just immense. What does that mean in normal driving? It means that in terms of sort of roll-on performance, instant performance, the 535D feels much, much faster than you'd imagine. It feels much faster than the figures suggest as well. If you're just cruising along at 80 miles an hour and you sniff the throttle, just touch it, the thing leaps forward. It absolutely leaps forward. That's very, very impressive. So there are two questions to answer here, aren't they? Should you have a 535D over the equivalent German saloon cars? Yes, I think you should do. Do you know why? Because there isn't an equivalent, is there? Audi and Mercedes do not make these big, fast diesels in this size of body shape. The other question is, should you have a 535D over a 535i? Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? The 535i has over 300 horsepower, it revs more, it makes a nicer noise, but it doesn't have the crazy economy. 38 mpg claimed on the highway, that's a lot. And with the big fuel tank, you've got a massive range. And it doesn't quite have that incredible sense of effortless performance, of just touching the throttle and almost leaping down the road. I think the way these big diesels drive is actually more appealing in everyday use than the petrol equivalent. Both petrol and diesel get the lovely 8-speed ZF automatic, so you're in good hands there. It's a great package. Flip it on its head. What could you do to make this car better? I suppose make it a bit cheaper. That's about it, really. It's just a lovely, lovely thing to be in.